wake up in the morning and what do you do you get yourself ready to go to school but you don't have to go to school this time because school is closed school at home school at home let's get ready for some school at home school at home school at home it's time for school at home good morning boys and girls i hope you had a wonderful weekend let's go ahead and take a look at the date today because today is monday march 23rd also, today is Michael's birthday, so everyone sing Michael happy birthday from wherever you are. Yay! Happy birthday, Michael! Since it's Monday, that means we're going to be doing some more work at home today. Remember, we're still at home because school is still closed. Let's look. And that's why we're all working from home. Miss Sabrina's working from home, you're working from home, and some of our friends from class are also working from home. Do you wanna see? Hi friends, it's Miss Jennifer here. I am at home just like you guys are. I can't go to work, and both my daughters are home too. Their school is closed. We all have to stay home. Hope you stay healthy. This is how I stay at home. I listen to music. Miss you guys. Stay safe out there. Hi, it's Miss Jackie, hanging out at home, getting ready to go walk the dogs, both Bella and Noodles. Bella, Bella, and Noodles. Say hello, Bella, Noodles, hello. Hi everyone, this is Miss Joan, and I just wanted to let you know that I am home too, like you are, and right now to keep myself busy, I am doing the laundry that you usually do on Thursdays when you walk to the laundromat. This is keeping me busy, and I'm very happy to do it for all of you. I hope everybody's healthy. And I hope to talk to you soon. Miss you all and love you. Bye. Wasn't that nice to get to see some of our friends? Miss Jennifer's at home, and Mr. Steve's at home, and Miss Jackie's at home. Even Miss Joan's at home, but she didn't show her face. Silly Miss Joan. For today's lesson, we're gonna do some math, but this is gonna require some help from your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister or whoever can help you at home. Let me show you. If you go to the website that I sent you, you'll find um, some information for the class. The first page just kind of talks about the coronavirus. It reminds students that it's closed, so if someone needs to go and keep looking just to help them cope with this, time that's perfect then if you click right over here where it says monday math and money it'll take you to our lessons for monday this was last week's but feel free to do it if you haven't um and then i added some lessons for today these are not youtube videos instead i'm using google slides because i had to differentiate for each student's level and this way allowed to go at your student's pace as opposed to whatever pace that i decide um, it's really easy to get to, and you just click it, and it should open up onto your phone, tablet, computer, whatever you're using. For this first presentation, I wrote down the initials of the students that I think would benefit most from it, but any of the students can use it. And then for the dollar method, I did the same thing. So basically, you're just going to click on this arrow, and it 
takes you to each slide. This one has audio, so you can also listen to me talk. Let's play a counting game together. Are that, you ready? That way, um, the students can go ahead and do it at their own pace. And after they count, they find which one is the correct amount. For the other one, for the dollar up method, there's no voice, but there's a little bit of instructions. And then I specifically put an instruction for the student that you're working with um, because each kid's at a different level. Each adult, young adult's at a different level. So basically, utilizing the pretend money that I sent home, you're gonna try and have your child use the dollar up method. Using 362 as an example, the goal is for your son or daughter to count to four. One, two, three, four, five, one more dollar method. The next slide then tells them the correct answer. So even if this is maybe a little bit difficult for them, it has the answer and they can work through it. And if it's asking for $4.31, the goal is for us to have our students be able to recognize that whole number by themselves. If they can, they say four, count to four, and then say one more dollar and add one more dollar. For students who um, are nonverbal, no problem. We just have them do it without saying it, or maybe they point to it. So for instance, um, Micah often will count that whole number, and then he'll point to this and add one more dollar. If you need some help with individualization, go ahead and look at this page where I specifically provided some tips for each of the students. And then if you still have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. The idea is to prompt them as little as possible. So some of the students might be working with $5 bills and $10 bills. Give them a second to figure out what bill they need first. And if they don't choose the, first, the correct bill originally, then you can give them help. For instance, if a student's trying to count to $12 using the dollar up method, I didn't give them enough ones because I don't want them to rely on ones. So they're going to have to start with a 10 and then count 11, 12. So they might need a prompt just pointing to the $10 bill, but try not to give that prompt until you see that they need it. Lastly, at the bottom, there's a little quiz. It's very simple. How many dollars do you see? And then the students just count how many dollars they see and then click. The correct one. If it's possible for your son or daughter to do it on their own, awesome. If they need help, awesome. Um, it's not graded, it's just so they're participating and it's something more to do. If any of you did not find cash, fake cash, in your child's stuff that I sent home, it's super possible that day was crazy. Um, we have been given permission to go back to school on Wednesday one teacher at a time to get any other manipulatives that we need um, and to send home some more things. So I'm gonna have transportation come and send things to your houses. So if you don't have money, prepare, I'll send you money. I'm also planning on sending out manipulatives and instructions to get onto Google Classroom. They want us to use Google Classroom. Google Classroom is more effective and it gives more opportunities for the students to respond. So. I logged all the students on. I have all of them set up in the classroom and I'm just gonna send home step-by-step -step instructions with visuals for parents so that way it's easy for you to get on and not super overwhelming. Hopefully some of the students can even do it on their own which would be awesome. On Wednesday I'm going to make a video specifically for parents about what I'm sending home and how it can help you. Um, so look out for that. Thanks.